Hello Claudia, uh, you requested for a video on how to upload your local site to an online server. So uh, I created a simple website here, kbc.org. It has just a few sections there. Let us assume it's a full website. So what are you going to do to transfer these local files to an online server? Uh, first, I assume you have internet connected because we are going to install a plugin. So you're going to, 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 you're going to, you're going to log into your WordPress dashboard. Eh? I know you remember this, and here we are. So inside the dashboard of the local website, uh, you'll go to plugins, click add new. And we want to put, I uh, want to install uh, a plugin called AppDraft Plus. There are many plugins that do this, but I am used to this, to this one since we have been using it on the ICT teachers website. So like any other plugin, you'll click install now. And when the plugin is installed, that's when you will, and after, after the plugin is installed, you'll have to activate it. So let us wait for this plugin to install App Draft Plus WordPress Backup and Migration Plugin. Yeah, it's a, it's a good one. You can try out with others, but like I said, I am more comfortable with this one. So when the plugin is installed, you'll have to click Activate. Remember, you are doing this on the, on the local on the local site. So you see mine here is kbc.org. So in the list of plugins, it's the last one here on my in my dashboard. So we want to download the local files of this website. So you'll go to settings. So when you get to settings uh, of this plugin, you'll see a, a, a button here. I let me first delete this. This one. It's not supposed to be here. <clears throat> okay. Now you'll see a, a button called backup now. So you'll click backup and then click backup now here. So it's going to backup all your all your files, all the files of your local WordPress site. I'm going to do this this video in two parts. So the first one, this this section, this part of the video, we are installing the plugin and creating the backup files. So our backup is done, and this backup has five 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 areas: the database, the plugins, the themes, uploads, and other files. So we have finished backing up. Uh, these files, so we want to download them uh, to the desktop. Uh, but this, for me, I have I have a, a, a folder on the desktop called backup where I want to. This is where I want to to store my files. So I'll start with the database uh, section. So I'll click database, and then after that. I'll click on download to your computer. So it's done. We have used, we have downloaded the database. Then let us download the plugins. So you click download and then here it is. You click download to your computer. So we are done with the plugins, then we shall go to themes. So I click on themes. And when it is ready for download, I'll click download to your computer. Uh, you can see the progress here. Uh, two files are still downloading. I think this is because of the size of the files. So after that, uh, let us go to uploads. So I'll click uploads. And then we shall also download the uploads. Download your computer and now we are left with others so you also click on others and when it is ready for download we, are, we shall click 
download to your computer. So let us check the progress. So we still have one download in progress. Uh, uh, you can wait for this. Uh, from this folder here, sure these are done. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, the fifth one is not yet because I think because of its size. So depending on the size of your website, uh, it, it will take some time. If the, the smaller the website, the faster it will do this. So I now assume that all my five sections are downloaded. So let me go to the downloads folder and select them. I have one, two, three, four, and five. So these are all the files that make up my website. So I'll put this to, I'll go to my desktop and under backup, let me put my files here. So here they are, the five, the five sections of my website. Then from here, uh, you can log this out, but remember you must know the password to this website, the website that you're backing up. You must know the website, the, the password to your WordPress dashboard. Then, after that, let us go to our online website. So we have an online website. Uh, there are your online website. Where, as long as you install WordPress, just go to WordPress of your online website and then go to plugins and uh, and install the same plugin. Uh, the plugin is called Updraft Plus. So let us check whether we have it. So I already have the plugin here, Updraft Plus. The process is, is just the same. So you install, you, you install this area. Now, you want to transfer the other files, the downloaded files to this website. So remember, this is another domain name. If you can see, stcatherinabingo.com. So you'll come to settings. Uh, let us go to settings. While you do this, you are online. So you'll come to settings. And then at the bottom, under settings of Updraft Plus, eh, under the settings, just scroll down, and then you see Upload Backup Files. You see this? So you'll click here, and then you'll go to drop your backup files here, or you can select them, and here they are. All oh, the five uh, sections of our backup. And then you'll click Open. So as you click Open, these files are going to to up, up, update, uh, up, upload. So the first one, the database, the database has been uploaded, and then the others has also been uploaded. When you see the word complete, and now we are waiting for the plugins, we are waiting for themes, and we are waiting for. Uh, uploads. Uh, you see the size, this is a 20 MB file, this is a 10 MB file, uh, so it takes a while. Uh, these ones are just KB, so that's why they took uh, uh, a very little time. So let us wait for the uploads, let us wait for these files to upload, I think you'll be patient, but also I want to remind you that depending on the size of the of the website, the bigger the size, the bigger the website, the longer it will take to, to update your website. So we are waiting all this time uh, because uh, as small as the website is, it's relatively big. And what you're doing now will, will create an exact replica of your local site onto, onto your new website. Uh, I want to remind you that on the new website, all you have to do is just install WordPress. That is all. And after installing WordPress, install the AppDraft Plus uh, plugin. It will do this magic and you will have an exact copy. 
of your website online and fully fully function so from what you can see here uh, the backup of plugins we already have uh, 10 MB of of 20 so uh, we, we are going to give it uh, some time Claudia you don't have to worry about this uh, let me just take you to the other website that I'm uploading this is the website that I made uh, just as a recap and then I went to the WP admin dashboard I went to plugins and then installed a plugin called app draft plus and then from there we downloaded the, 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 the files of this website and then we went to our online website where we also have the plugin installed and which is helping us upload our downloaded files. But remember, this is not the only plugin that does this. There are many others like my, uh, I've tried my great guru before and all in one WP migration, but I feel I am more comfortable with this one because it's the one we are using on the ICT teachers website. We've used that for, I think for four, four years now. So I find it easier and I hope this will also be uh, easier for you. So we are remaining with just um, two other sections, two other sections. We are remaining with, uh, we are left with the themes. The plugins are almost uh, there. The plugins are almost there. The database was done. The other files were also done. Those look pretty small. Uh, yes, plugins are done. Now you can see that we are having a backup of the themes, which is going to start just shortly. Yes. So the themes is also being uh, uploaded to our new website. Uh, this is less, so this will take, I think, half the time or less. Uh, you can notice that, yeah, this, these are 10 MBs, and this will take less time compared to the 20 MBs that we had here. So Updraft Plus is, a, yeah, a quite, a quite simple plugin it helps it helps solve many of these of these things and uh, yes many people prefer uh, doing their websites offline before uploading them online yeah many do that I've done it once in a while and so mm -hmm. that is when I need this plugin app draft plus that's when I need it to get our local files which we are going to upload to our new website yes that's 8 mb out of 10 8 out of 10 mbs and then the last file will be the uploads which are just 6 mbs and uh, this will take uh, a far shorter time uh, it is just the plugins and themes that took uh, uh, much of our space and time but now that the themes are about to to get done, and I think this is less than 30 seconds and the things will be done. And then we shall have the, the uploads, which are not going to take also not more than 30 seconds. Yes, the themes are done, plugins are done, other files are done, the database is done. And now we are left with the uploads, uploads. Uh, it's, not, it's not meant to, it's not meant to take long. Uploads, uploads, uploads. Yes, the uploads are being uh, uploaded to our new site. And uh, in just a moment, we are going to have an exact replica, an exact replica of our website, which is going to make uh, uh, the one that the clients will see after you are a week or a month or days of, of struggling to come up with something something presentable. So Updraft Plus is a good plugin. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. 
uh, always remember to back up every section of your website. And now that this is done, uh, you can click on this database here and then simply click restore. Then when you click restore, you're going to select yes, plugins, themes, others, and database, and then you click next. And then it is going to restore all the files. So remember on this new website of yours, all you needed was a fresh installation of WordPress. And then at the bottom, you are going to click restore and it tells you the restore operation has begun. Do not close your browser until it reports itself that the process is complete. <clears throat> so the backup process, so you see it's deleting the old folders and everything. And uh, in a few minutes, we are supposed to be done. In a few minutes, you are supposed to be done doing some cleaning. Uh, let's just click wait. Uh, now re return to, uh, okay, it says restore failed, but uh, let us just try it out. I don't know why, since Catherine.com. Uh, uh, there must have been some slight error. Let me just try out the, the, the website and let us see. I don't know why it failed, but the process is just as, as simple as that. And from what I see, Yes, the restore was successful. I don't know why it said failed, but if you look at this website, kbc.org, it's just the same as this new one. And this is our new website. So, yeah, that is all you need to have a, an exact copy of your website. Thank you, Claudia. In case of anything else, please uh, feel free to get back to me.